Hey guys, hope you're all good today. Previously, we saw the basic example of the aggregator transformation where we used to calculate the sum, the average, and the minimum and maximum of the salary. Today, we'll take a look at another example where the aggregator transformation is used to remove duplicates after using in after the data coming in from the union transformation. The aggregator transformation can be used to eliminate duplicates from the source qualifier or any other source transformation. The example that we'll be taking a look at is the union transformation example in which one of the source tables contains duplicate rows. We'll simply insert an aggregator transformation after the union transformation and select all the columns as a group by columns. This can be achieved by the following SQL query as well. Let's take a look at the practical example of this query. So let's open the SQL Assistant. <clears throat> and connect to the test1 ODBC connection. With the username Oracle and password Oracle, username HR and password HR as well. Now, let's get the select statement for the employees one table. If we execute this and sort it over the employee ID, we can see that there are duplicate rows in it. Now, let's get the select query for the employees two table. Copy copy this query and paste it under the select query of the employees one table and let's union all them using the union all we can get all the duplicate rows execute this and you can see that after sorting on the employee ID we have duplicate rows now how do we use the aggregator transformation here? Let's put all, all of this query in the brackets and name it as A. And copy all the names of the columns from here. Select, paste this, and put an A dot before every column. And then copy all of these columns again with the group by in the group by clause at the end. <clears throat> Let's execute this query. Okay, we forgot to mention the from after the select clause, so there it is. Now execute this, and there you have it: seventy-nine rows returned with no duplicate rows in it. This is the exact logic that we'll be implementing in the using the aggregator transformation in the Informatica Power Center Designer. So in the coming video, we'll take a look at the practical example and show you how to create a mapping for this transformation. Till then, stay with us. Thank you very much and bye bye.